7년 전 벌어진 세기의 대결. AI가 둔 한수가 인류를 충격에 빠뜨렸습니다. 이제 AI는 그림을 그리고 소설도 씁니다. 그것도 훌륭한 실력으로 말이죠. 인간과 AI. 다음 대결은 어떻게 될까요? The work that human minds should do versus the work that machines should do. I don't think that way of dividing up the work works anymore. 앤드로 메가피는 디지털 기술이 우리 사회를 어떻게 변화시키는가를 주로 연구합니다. 그가 쓴채 제2의 기계 시대는 인간과 로봇의 경쟁이라는 화두를 던지며 다가올 사회를 진단하는 키워드가 됐죠. 기후 변화, 양극화, 심지어 전쟁. 인류에겐 풀어야 할 문제가 산더미인데요. 누군가 짠 나타나 해법을 들려줬으면 싶죠. 앤드로 메가피에게 청해 봤습니다. 우리에게 진정 구원이 있을까요? Welcome to Great Minds. My name is Andrew McAfee. I'm a scientist at MIT, and I study how technological progress changes the world. On what have been the biggest stories in the course of human history? What has changed the course of human civilization? My broad point is if you ask this question to a group of people, you will get no shortage of answers. And it feels like it's an impossible debate to resolve. How are we ever going to get an answer to this incredibly broad question, what changes the course of human history? So I love this because now we have ways to put numbers on this question of what has changed the curve of human history. And when you do that, I think you come to exactly one conclusion. Almost no matter which, which of these measures you're looking at. So you can take these graphs back thousands of years, and what you learn when you do this is that they look pretty boring, not much is happening. The human population is growing very, very, very slowly. Our social development is increasing, but it's increasing very, very, very slowly. Throughout all of these developments that I've been talking about, throughout the progress of ideas, the founding of religions, wars and conquests and empires, the invention of fundamental things like zero and calculus, the Renaissance, all these are big deals. They did not bend the curve of human history very much at all. One thing happened, and it changed the course of human history. What was that thing? We invented the steam engine. And in particular, there was an Englishman named James Watt who didn't invent the steam engine. They had been around for a while. He improved it to the point where it became useful for lots and lots of different things. For getting water out of a flooded coal mine. That was actually the very first use of it. And then it was for transporting that coal via a railroad or via a steamship. And then it was building factories and powering factories that could make metal and cloth, textiles that could cut lumber, that could do all the things that human beings like to do. And what I think is going on is that that point in time when Watt tinkered with and improved the steam engine up to the point where it became economically very, very useful, useful all over the economy, that's when the curve of human history started to bend. And that doesn't seem obvious at first. Steam, why is a steam engine such a big deal? And to me, the very short, the very straightforward answer to that question is once we had a working steam engine, we human beings could for the first time ever meaningfully harvest all of this energy that was stored in the world's fossil fuels, first coal, and then hydrocarbons like petroleum. We were able to do that for the first time, and what that meant was we could overcome the limitations of muscle power. 